You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benny and Rowe and Lee Robertson. I can smell your nasty pussy. Don't have a cat. Glenn Close, just saying. Oh, hello, welcome to Chewing the Cud. So how are you doing? How am I doing? <laughs> All right, you. I'm, I came as soon as I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you did. <laughs> Bag. Mm. Can I ask that's why you're wearing the outside of a flower? Because I'm an advocate. I'm an ally. You're an advocate. I'm an no. ally to the bewildered. <laughs> Not saying anything. Mm-hmm. So what have you got day for us then? What have you got day for us? We got day for us, louder. Well, day for us. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in Yorkshire's just come now. Watch yeah. the year in that. Which, it's like, it's like, oh, I found a fiver. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got for us today? Today, well, I've got to do is about someone's stomach foiling their plans, and then we welcome back our culinary expert with Everybody Loves Fanny. We even have a game that you can play along with too. But on screen now, you can see our contact details. It's at the Cut TV on social media, and if you want to catch up with previous episodes, you can always binge us like a Weight Watcher in a cake shop by going and looking for Chewing the Cud. That's Jamie. And you can see the names of people who've reached out on social media going along the bottom of the screen. But now we have Lee in the showbiz news. I'm having to use my phone today because I've forgotten my um, electronic tablet. Okay, mm. not what you said before the show, where you said I forgot my tablets and we all got very, mm. very, very, very worried. It's, yeah. it's an Android, unfortunately. But I like an Android, I prefer them. Anyway, let's do some showbiz. Um, um, were you a fan of Titanic the movie? The movie. Were you, the back movie. in the day? Don't let go, Jack. Don't let yeah. go. I won't let go. Bloop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, well, how would you feel about a musical about Titanic? Will we see Leonardo DiCaprio getting all hot and sweaty with someone age appropriate? Oh, because he goes out with younger women. Just age appropriate, wasn't he? Okay. Oh, no, there, there's, there's a, a musical coming. It's called... Titanic, the musical. Oh, no. I'm here for this. <laughs> Why did um, I think you were going to be? It says, when the music of Celine Dion makes sweet Canadian love with the 11-time Oscar-winning film Titanic, you get Titanic. There's a, there's a promo poster for it. Um, yeah, it's already been in New York okay. and, and has been, got loads of awards. Okay. Um, it's not a serious... Really? Show. Oh, I don't Titanic. know if you've grasped that from, from, the, from the picture. It's um, Apparently it's a hysterical musical... A hysterical? Hysterical <laughs> musical fantasia. Mm. OK, they already yeah. did that. So Didn't what they're doing is... What, the, <laughs> what they're doing is... Celine... Yeah. Not the actual Celine. <laughs> not the actual Celine. Um, not Celine Gomez. Not Celine Gomez, but somebody pretending to be Celine Dion. OK. Um is as if she was on the Titanic in the film. Okay. Um, and so sings the songs like My Heart Will Go On, uh, all her hits. hits. Um, <laughs> and, um, it, yeah, it's it, the premise is that she was on the doomed Crooms liner in 1912 and is somehow still around to explain what happened. Um, the singer mingles with the passengers and by mingle, I mean she shamelessly tries to overshadow them, sneaking one of her hits at every opportunity. I, I, we've got the, I'm, I'm, like, you can, that's the case, and she's popped up between them to go, oh, I'm, lo I am living for this. Um, you are living for this. It's, um. Yas, queen. Yas! Yeah. <laughs> Fierce. Um, it's, the, yeah, there's, there's more pictures of the cast. Um, I'm, I think this is amazing. I think this is the future. Okay. Of, um, of, um, theatre. Where is this going to be on? Well. It's going to be in London. Okay. Mm, for, to start with, but then it might tour. Okay. Um, so, London's Criterion Theatre from the 9th of December. Ooh. I don't know whether it's worth a trip to London, I think, Ian. I think we might have a small trip. It's not that far on the train, really. Pain? Huh? Pain? Did I say I was pain? I said should we have a trip. <laughs> Did I say he was even going with you? H anyway. Oh, a little bit. Moist by that suggestion. What, um, what, me paying or me going on a trip with you? No, you paying. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the first time a boy's got moist by me paying. Oh, that's not mm. good. <laughs> Will Ferrell, comedian. 
Farrell or Farrell? Farrell. Is it not Farrell? No, it's Farrell with an E. Okay. He was in Elf. Ugh. I know. But, to be fair, he's not everyone's cup of tea. I don't mind him. I just hate Elf as a, Do as you? a film. you? Yeah. Okay. Um, he's been widely commended following the release of the trailer for his new Netflix documentary, Ooh. which is called Will and Harper. It's so good. Have you watched it? Yeah. Is it out? Yeah. Is it well, done we'll do, the screening? Well, it, is by the ta- it is by the time we've... This oh, out. okay. So in yeah, so him and his... September 27th, this is October. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, we're in the future. We are in the future. Woo! Woo! Um, anyway. I still, look, I still look good. Well, yeah. Um, no, it's, it's so good. It's so heartwarming. It, it's all about him and his um, trans best friend go on a road trip together. Mm-hmm. Um, so... Will Ferrell and Harper Steele first became friends about 30 years ago when they started on um, Saturday Night Live. Mm-hmm. Um, and Harper was one of the head writers on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Um, and Will is kind of saying, the biggest, I think the biggest form of transforming is lack of understanding. Mm-hmm. If you're not trans and you don't know anybody who is trans, the whole concept does seem strange. That's why projects like this are important, because trans people exist. They always have and always will. And once you know the heart of somebody who is just trying to live their life, you understand. Mm-hmm. So, obviously, it's it's out now to stream. You have watched it. Yes, and it's so it's so honest, and I think that's what the most important part is. It's where Paul's like, I didn't know how to refer to you for a while, and I wasn't sure if you'd still be my friend. Because mm. it's like, have you changed your entire personality? It was very honest about what it was that they were going through as well. And I think it's... Really refreshing to see a cis, straight, mm-hmm. white man um, go go through that that journey. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I I may well I may well watch that, that later. Well worth a watch. Mm. So from from the kind of highbrow, mm-hmm. something slightly less highbrow. Did you did you watch Slag Wars? No, I didn't watch Slag. Did you not watch Slag Wars? I didn't even know this was a thing. So. You know the cock destroyers? Uh, well, one of them's dead. One of them's unfortunately yeah, passed so away. Like a... But before before she did pass away, uh-huh. there was they they um, hosted a reality TV show called Slag Wars, mm-hmm. which was basically them trying to find the next best new porn star. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was it was Rebecca Moore, um, Sophie Anderson, who unfortunately. Um, is no longer with us. Yeah. And Matthew Camp. Um, they've is that got a Matthew new Camp. That's Matthew Camp. I'm assuming we like Matthew Camp. Is he a porn star? I don't know, but I would like to find out more. I think he might be a porn star. They've got a new um, uh, host wh- who is Fantasia Royal Gaga, who I think stuff. was on the Boulay Brothers, um, whatever it is that that drag show thingy. is, Drag Dragula. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. There's the cock destroyers. That's a picture of the, of the, the cock destroyers. They first premiered first premiered in 2020, and the second season will be shown exclusively on Outflix. Ooh. They've kind of done it as a bit of a um, homage mm-hmm. to Sophie. Um, I mean, they they for for a while that was like the everyone was going, "I'll oh, despunk your bowls." And um, that kind of stuff. Um, and I think they fell out with each other and then, you know. Yeah. Um, is and this, that, this, this is the cast. This is the new cast. This is the new cast. I'm going to be watching this show. Okay. I, 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 yeah. The, the, yeah. Because I, I think you might watch it for the, because look at those shoes. Those are very Lee shoes. Yeah. A nice comfy slip on gold mule. But, but I, <laughs> I, I don't want to be a porn star. I mean, I've been asked uh, uh, many times, um, but I, I just... <laughs> Someone throwing you a fiver and saying, going to film you doing something. Give us a blowy. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> just wear this mask. Do you know, I'm going to say, so, this is nothing to do with this program, but somebody on social media uh-huh. tagged me in a post, not a saucy post, um, of him in a hot tub, n- not naked, with pants on. Um, pants on in a hot tub? Well, swimming, sw- swimming okay. pants, whatever. Um, swimming and pants. <laughs> that resulted in many, many pervy people, pervy people following me back. Mm-hmm. And one of them had a very unsettling video on his uh, that appeared on my timeline. We said unsettling. What was it? What was it? 
Do you want me? Do you want no, me to you go? Can describe it. To... So he was on his bed. Okay. Okay. Naked. Okay. Legs akimbo. Knees kind of bent so that they were around his ears, and he was like holding his his bottom. Yeah. So his the rectum pose, was full. Yeah, yeah. Fully exposed, and he pooed. Oh. And I, and I wasn't happy with that. How many times did you watch it? <laughs> I was like... How many, no, how many times did you watch it? I because watched that's... half of it for the first lump that came out and then I forwarded it to many people. <laughs> because you are the first one who would watch that again and again. Oh, that's disgusting. I was like... Oh, no. <laughs> what? What? That's not sexy. That's not sexy. It's not sexy, people. Don't so, film no, yourself doing a poop. Look, some people are into that, and we don't kink shame. If they want to do that, that's fine, but, yeah, it's not for you. Anyway, that's my rant over, and that's the <laughs> end of this week's show of his news. Exactly. And remember, if you want to send any videos to Lee, drop into his DMs. Uh, stick around, because after this, it's Mike and the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cod with Lee and Mike. And now we go into the deeper parts of the dark web. And it's Mike with the buzz. Um, you like your shopping experience, don't you, Lee? Yes. As long as no one else is around. Yeah. Just, you know, like, like the famous people get when they, you know, close down home bargains. <laughs> <laughs> Walk around by themselves. Beyonce around home sense. Mm. She's always in there. What's the man who uh, in Warsaw, Poland? Poland. Mm. Poland. <laughs> Poland. I'm from Bolton. <laughs> Did you not know? Right. Um, he's 22, and he wanted a private shopping experience as well. Okay. So he did by pretending to be a mannequin for hours and hours and hours. Oh, okay. Can you tell where he is? <laughs> 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 That's under the category of must try harder. Um, <laughs> okay. He's not even in the window. He's literally outside the <laughs> shop holding a bag. Oh, he's not even in the no, shop? No, he's all outside the window holding a bag. When was he going to go in the shop? So what happened was once they closed down the, the, super, the, the supermarket, the, 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 the mall, yes. right, he then went on the rob. Okay. So he's there to steal things. What, what's with the face? Well... In the in the supermarket, so yeah. you start <laughs> shopping malls, um, they when the shops close, they, have they lock them. So, so him being in the middle of the mall mm -hmm. is fine, but he won't be able to get in anywhere because they're all locked. Okay, but here's the thing: where it's also you also easy to get into things because you're uninterrupted. Mm. If a, a shop's closed and it's busy and you're walking past it, someone's gonna say, "Why are you filling with that lock? It's got time when it's empty." Mm. Or so he thought because he forgot about the security guards. Okay. Um, who started to chase him around the mall, oh. um, trying to find out where he was, because he kept hiding. He'd hear them coming. He kept doing a pose like that. Yeah. And thinking um, that they couldn't see him. Or he'd hide under a tarpaulin, <laughs> right? Or Standing he, in the middle of a fountain going... Getting very wet going... <laughs> yeah, hiding in toilets and that sort of thing. He was only apprehended when he stopped for a second meal. A second, a meal. second meal. He'd stopped to grab a sandwich, and they went, you know what, I'm a bit more peckish than I thought. Well, it's a lot of carbs burn up running around a, a just closed <laughs> shopping centre. He's at least robbing things. Um, well, yeah. um, what, did he, what, what is, it, is it Wrangler there? Is that he got a... As jeans, yeah. Oh, so okay. that's just the shop he was standing outside of. To... Right, OK. Um, so he'd stolen some food, he'd stolen booze, and even cash out of some tills. Oh, OK. Well, it's not a very secure place, is Ooh, it, no, if that's no. what you can do? No, but you get caught if you're having a second butty. Hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, well, well, yeah. Well done him. Well done him. I'm getting caught after standing like a brick for hours. Yeah, outside a shop. <laughs> outside where a shop. No, Holding uh, the back. <laughs> no shop work. I'm going to have to say dummies. Yeah. They're not allowed to say. Oh, mannequins, not dummies. Mannequins. Shop dummies. Personkins. What? <laughs> Personkins, because then you're taking away the gender. Oh, OK. Moving on. Okay. Um, so, have you ever got rage about something? Oh, all the time. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> like, got, it I know, got it now. I know you get rage all the time. Quelling it. I'm just, keeping it down. I'm just trying to work out whether this would particularly raise you. I would imagine it probably will do. 
do you ever get rage when someone has too much of something? I'm usually the person that has too much. <laughs> okay. Um, Self-loathing can happen. <laughs> I think there probably are circumstances when people have too much things. Guess That's what you just did there. You know, like if you're going to... um. Um, a um, carvery. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Where you, you can pile your plates high. Yeah, and then somebody takes food. all the, like, potatoes. Well, that's just a badly stocked carvery if they're taking all the potatoes. But that's just greedy. As long as they eat them, I have no problem with that. What irritates me is they take a load and don't eat them all. Do you know what really gets on my nerves? People who, they're, like, when something is released, we'll say Barbie doll. I mean, I don't know why. But <laughs> we that all know person why, buys they? 12 of them. Okay. So nobody else can have them. Mm -hmm. That gets on my tits. Yeah. Just buy a different Barbie doll. I fun. wanted that one. Okay, I can tell. Um, well, this is a, a gentleman called Myron Bully. Oh. Okay. Who has been sentenced after beating someone to death with a baseball bat for taking too much nacho cheese. What? I can see. <laughs> you can see. You've got a lot of sympathy I for this guy. I can empathise with yeah. that. Um, so he works in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. okay, in a petrol station, or a gas station, um, and he grew angry at a gentleman called um, Isaiah Taylor, right, who used up a lot of nacho cheese, not all of it, just a lot of nacho cheese on his nachos, and then broke the machine by using it too much. Oh, you see, there's more to this than the meat the eye, isn't there? There is. Mm. I have rage about cheese. It's more than just, I've had all the cheese, it's now you broke it, mm -hmm. and now I have to fix it. We didn't actually and now you have to phone to someone else. But yeah, um, beat him mercilessly with a baseball bat. Lots of injuries, blood pouring out of his face and that sort of thing. A passerby said, oh, I'm going to phone 999. And the guy went and... <laughs> went, After him as well. No, went, I'm not phoning 999. He needs to learn a lesson. <laughs> I mean, I... Do I'm, not eat all the cheese. I'm agreeing with the sentiment. Perhaps not necessarily the actual way he dealt with it. <laughs> If you had a baseball bat and you got raised, though, I have no doubt in my mind. You know, there's been occasions when I've been on, like, at meals with family and friends and somebody's making that disgusting clack noise. Yeah, I've literally had to sit on my hands to, because I want to get my... and smash the face into the table. Do it. Can you eat it now? Can you hear it? You see, I think we would be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Currently in prison. Oh, OK. Does, so he could be a special he's friend. He's pen friend. He could be his pen friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I cannot. I cannot see why cheese would make someone so angry. Lesson learned. Goodness me! But he still goes back and gets some cheese. But he does. But he's like, well, he can. Because eh, eh. Myron's in prison, so he'll be fine. <laughs> Who's going to stop him now? I'd send him videos. I'd fill. I'd <laughs> I mean, pump him with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pumping it into your face. Want this bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll spit it out. Yeah. Not, even, not even put it. Just giving yourself a cheese bukkake. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> oh, cheese bukkake. I think that's going to be the name. Cheese bukkake. My autobiography. I think that's going to be. It. You should put on a t-shirt, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't call me Daddy. On your shirt. And yours says a little bit dramatic, and we could take out the words a little bit. Oh. Um, and if, like Lee, you like to live in a selfie deluded state, um, why not share that with us? It's at the Could TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, I've just realised that my hoodie's fallen off my shoulder. Like oh, I thought you were just being a little bit sexy. No, it's like, like, like some sort of cheap <laughs> whore. It's like, hello. Hello. Never <laughs> <gasps> 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 do that again. <laughs> Even in your private life, just don't. Your partner will thank me. Um, now, we have a history, you and I, of talking about animals mm. on substances. We do, <laughs> yes. Because you like it. I do like an animal that's coat off its tits. Okay. Good news. Well, not really. It's actually quite sad at the end. But oh. um, there are 200 mm. horny, mm -hmm. coked up, Hippopotamuses. Where do I go? <laughs> right. In Colombia. So Pablo, in Colombia. In Colombia. Because <laughs> that's what they are. Thought. So, um, you know Pablo Escobar? No. The drug lord. Oh, OK, he, yes. Yeah. Right. He had a zoo oh. on his, his, his estate. On his coke factory. Yeah. Well, his estate. His coke factory wasn't on his estate. OK. He lived separate. 
right? Um, Don't want to mix work with it passion. was an annex. Um, <laughs> but he had himself a little zoo with with some hippos, right? And when he was arrested, two hundred. No, no, no. When he was arrested in nineteen ninety one, mm. right? The authorities were like, oh, what do we do with these hippos? Ah, we need to deal with the drugs first, and then the hippos escaped oh. into the wild. Okay, oh. um, <laughs> they're quite quick. Um, so since nineteen ninety three. They've been fornicating. And creating more creating hippos. Creating more hippos. So now there's over 200 wow. hippos, right? And they're looking at what they can do with these hippos. Okay. Are, they on their, what, are they on crack? They're, they're, they're coked up, yeah. yeah. How are they, where are they getting the cocaine from? The, the, the dealer. The, the dealer. <laughs> what do you think they're getting the cocaine from? Where are they getting <laughs> the money for the cocaine? That's the question <laughs> no one's asking, right? Um, but the Colombian government have realised that they can't do anything with them. Right, they're looking at like sending them back to where they came from, like, <laughs> back to where they came from. Nigel Farage going... has been involved. <laughs> but, <laughs> not to Africa. Well, they didn't come from Africa. They're they're native to that country now. No, no, because Pablo Escobar brought them over. Yeah, the original they're ones. They settled. Yeah, yeah. But so the Colombian government have thought about a way of dealing with them because they can't ship two hundred hippos, right? Not, so instead, not cracked out, not okay, coked hippos. up horny ones, because um, they're. Banging at it non-stop. Where are they getting the cocaine from? <laughs> it grows naturally. Cocaine grows naturally? It's a plant. I don't know, that drugs me. <laughs> it's a plant, it's a leaf, right? And you chew the leaf and it get, and that's where you get the co oh, okay. cocaine from. It doesn't give you like a massive... But it oh, okay. You've purified it, but... Right. Get oh, I do not know that. Yeah. Um, it's technically a herb. Mm. Um, so, honey, because they're shagging. Mm -hmm. Right. So what the Colombian government have said is the only way they can deal with them is to cull them. Oh. So they're going to kill all these horny... All of them? All of them, because they're not native. Oh. They shouldn't be there. And the only reason they're doing that is because each one produces over 22 pounds of shit a day and they're doing it in a river. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So it's, a <laughs> it's an environmental nightmare. Wow. Right? If they weren't shitting so much, they'd be okay. Oh, it's okay. All right. Yeah. Off, of, off the tits on, on, <laughs> on naturally grown cocaine. It's fine. Shitting in our water. Not having it. No, because it, they need it for the... Can you eat hippos? I don't suppose you can. You can eat pretty much anything. Because that could be, you know... A hippo meat. Hippo meat. If, if they we're going to have to get rid of them some way. Okay. Just explode them all. Okay. Um, and that's all from the buzz this week. Uh, stick around, it's coming up. We have a game to play in our game of the week. Welcome back. And you're watching Chewing the Cud. We're going to play a little game now. And this is the one for the man who has acid dripping out of his anus. It's Mike. I told you I should have f***ed with that f vinegar. Game of the Week. In a game of riddles, we twist and we turn with questions so tricky your cum will burn. But laughter and fun, you'll solve the clues in this riddle game. It's me versus you. Right. <laughs> nice. So, the point of this game, Nate, is I will give you a riddle, you just have to solve it. What do I have to do? You have to solve a riddle. i to solve a riddle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so, first riddle. If two snakes were to marry, what will their towels say? Hisses and hisses. No, it would be hiss and hers. Oh. Yeah. Um, what can you hold in your right hand but never your left hand? Your own right hand. No, your left hand. What well, can you hold in your right hand that you can't hold in your left? Yeah. Your Put left... your right hand in your right... Put your right hand in your left hand now. So you can hold that one. You went the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. What's that Correct. About? Your left hand is what you can't hold. Yeah. Very, very large penis. Okay, 
Forward, I am heavy. Backward, I am not. What am I? I don't know. Not the correct answer, Lee. Having the guess. Forwards, I am heavy. Uh huh. Backwards, I am I'm not. not. What am I? My dead brother. Do you have a dead brother? He ain't heavy. He's my brother. <laughs> Welcome why to the way my mind be, works. Why does he have to be dead? It's just for the best. <laughs> Put him out of his misery. Um, no, a ton. What? A ton. T O N. Oh, okay. Heavy, backwards, it's N O T, not. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Grand. Yeah. Yeah. Crack on. Okay, cool. Who has married many women but has never married? A priest. No. A Catholic priest. No. Um. Um, a church. A church? Ch the church. The church. A building. Um, who has married many women? What? Who has married many women but has never married? I, don't, I can't think of anything else apart from a priest. Oh, it was a priest. What? Well, well, I said that. He did. He did. <laughs> don't you slap your joy buzzer at me. I knew I was right. <laughs> okay. How do you drop a raw egg in a parrot shop? Okay. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A good time. When you're thinking bear, are you thinking grizzly or are you thinking? Either or, really. Neither or. Either or. or. Both. I if I can get to my house the quickest. Um, what do we call a bear with no teeth? Um, anything you want to, because he won't be able to bite you. Gum me to death. No. I've given you a hint. It could gummy, gummy bear. A gummy bear. <laughs> We didn't press the buses, I didn't, oh, didn't get it then. No. Okay. What has many rings but no fingers? I have got ten fingers before you start. You've had many rings. I have. Stuck your finger in many rings. I've tasted um, them too. <laughs> Delicious. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> You're not talking onion rings, right? Bum no. hole rings. No. Um Saturn. No. Oh. Phone. A oh. telephone. A telephone? Ring, ring! He doesn't have any fingers. Ring, just rings, many rings. That's correct, yeah. I hate him when he does that. <laughs> you hate me? Like when I do that, what, breathe? No, when you fake that I've got it wrong, when I know that I've got it right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't always know you've got it when right. When it feels so wrong. No, was it? What did you do into that when ball? <laughs> I feel like and I want then, to sing to it. I was like, what? When it off. feels That's, so good, you were there like this, it? but it's so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Big red ending in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> memory. What can you break without touching it? You touch a hymen before you start. Wind. <laughs> no, not wind. <laughs> Is technically you touch it? Well, technically. Yeah. Um, Twitch it with your gay PR arsehole. <laughs> you touch it. Okay. Somebody's heart. No. Nope. I think Cheryl Cole. The speed of sound. No, because you're touching that, because that's actually a pressure wave. But are you? Yeah, because you're touching the pressure wave. But are you? Yes. Because you're touching the pressure wave. Think Cheryl Cole. 
or Tweety, or whatever she called by at the minute. Touch, but can't break, and she will call. They had a song. Na, 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 na. What are you singing? Song called... <laughs> I'm singing. <laughs> Dooby doo, rare, rare, untouchable. Uh, that's by Girls Aloud. Um, oh, no, this is a Girls Aloud song, actually. By Cheryl Cole. No, it's Girls Aloud that sang the song. The one that I'm supposed to be thinking no. of? No, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Or something that you can break without touching it. That's to do with Cheryl Cole? Yeah. She had a song Yeah. about touching something. But not t- about something else that you can break without touching it. I don't know. The promise. She didn't have a song called The Promise. It was Girls Aloud who had a song called The Promise. I changed it. That's why I said it. I didn't mean she'll call my Girls Aloud. I did say. Okay. I sometimes run, but I can't walk. What am I? It's not you. <laughs> this can't walk. I cannot walk. But sometimes I run. Yeah. Sometimes I hide. Sometimes I'm scared of you. But all I really want to do <laughs> is to hold you, squeeze you tight, be with you day and night. <laughs> Who sang that song? Britney Spears. It did indeed. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> um, what can I... I, I, I can what sometimes can run. But can't walk. Time. No, time can't run. Um. I don't know. <laughs> don't want to do Gobby Game Show anymore, Mike. Why not? I just can't get it. It's awful. We're doing Riddle instead. What? What? What was it then? Yeah, it's a nose. Oh. Uh, going to do the alien thing now, aren't you? No. Are you sure? No, I might do it a bit later. <laughs> it has keys, but no locks. It has space, but no room. You can enter, but you can't go inside. What is it? Is it um, the dark room at the Eagle on a Thursday evening? Ah, oh, they told me. Is it a computer? It's not a computer, no. Oh. Don't listen to the gallery. <laughs> I don't know. It's a keyboard. Stick around because coming up next, we get our cooking on with Everyone Loves Fanny. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we get to drips with the delights in the kitchen as everyone loves Fanny. Everybody loves Fanny. Okay, can do that. What? What are you saying now? Oh, I'm on. Hello, it's me, Fanny. How are you, Lee? I have no words. <laughs> so today, Lee, um, we're going to be making a delicious fruit salad. Oh, okay. I'm mm. um, using the All Natural Cookbook again. All natural cook. All natural cookbook. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we've got we've got a selection of fruit and lovely things. Okay. But we need to make it a little bit more than just a plate of fruit and lovely things. Mm-hmm. So I have given you a cup with some very hot water in. You have indeed. Okay. And then a sheet of gelatine. 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 Wibbly wobbly gelatine. Yeah. I have got it. Wonderful. What I want you to do is is I it w- one? is it vegan? It's not vegan, I no. I can't do it, then. You're not vegan, Lee. I've just... Where's this? Vegan. I want you to wait for a sausage before we start recording. Um, so, I don't mean like a sausage roll, either. Right. Um, so, we've got some gelatin. I just want you to pop it... Give it a bit of a squish and pop it in your water. OK? What's gelatin made of? It, it's made from beef bones. Beef? Bones. Yes, this particular one's made from beef bones. So you just want to fold it into a little tray. It won't break, so you just kind of want to get, get it sort of fit into the water. There we go. And pop it in. There we go. And we're just going to leave that for a few moments to soften. Um, 
And so while that softens, we, we do have an extra ingredient to add to this mixture, okay? mm -hmm. um, which is in your little cupboard to the side in a bottle. Okay, be careful just to get the bottle out. I get mine where I put it. What is it for? You've got a little bottle there? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, and so from the all natural cookbook, we are using semen. I'm not touching it then. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't want to. I'm vegan. <laughs> It was donated by a, a very randy bee. Um, so you just want a couple of a couple of drops of the semen. Um, it takes a little while to come out because it, it's very thick. The gentleman went, oh, we got, oh, lovely. Wallpaper paste. A couple of drops of that. It doesn't smell like ammonia, so I'm not, I'm assuming it's not actual. It's very, very fresh. Just a couple of drops. One more. Ah, good that's measure. enough. Yeah, okay. Um, so now, what we're going to do now is we're going to mix that up with our little tool. You can use a vibrator if you wish at home, but we've got little tools. And so, what you're going to do is you're going to mix it, okay, and give it a swirl. And as you do that, it's going to aerate. What happens if it. No. What? <laughs> oh, did you hear that noise? I did hear that noise, yeah. Um, so once you've got it going, he okay. stopped. Oh. Okay, and then you're going to slowly, carefully, pull it up because what that's going to do is that's going to create a foam. A what? You're going to use a foam. So slowly pull, and it will start to raise the foam up for you. It raises it up so you can stand on mountains. <sighs> is that enough foam? Oh no, you want to get it will fill the glass. If it'll fill the entire yeah, glass. So, so you see what I'm doing here, how it's going up slowly? And then I'm going down. Down going and deep up. into the semen water and pulling it up. Down and up. But slowly. You're getting on there, Lee. Having... There's a little bit of foam. Let me see. But not as much. Are, are you raising it up? Yeah. Are you raising it all the way up? Yeah. what he's doing. Is he able to get it up? Can you see? I can't see. Is that all foam? Is that what, sorry? Is that all foam? Well, you should have a lot of foam. So if you can have a look now, what I've got here is I've got a very, very foamy mixture. It's slightly loose. Mine's not as, as, as big as that. Okay. But there is some foam. There is some foam. Okay, yeah, you, you, you've done... Not very well. Patronising bitch. Um, shit at whisking shit. <laughs> um, so once you've done that, we're going to let that set. So I'm going to actually pop that to one side for a while so it can set. I don't think it's sufficiently mixed. I don't think it's sufficiently You want to use this whisk? See if you can move better with a different tool in your hand. Maybe turn it off before you withdraw it. Obviously doesn't use a vibrator at home. There we go. You see, that has more power. Okay. What do they say about poor trade blaming their tools? Look at the foam on that now. Ooh! We can't, your hands in the way. Move your sausage fingers out of the way. Uh-huh. Okay. In your own time. When you're sorry, I'm sorry. You want it to go right, don't you? I'd like it to go right, but I've, I've seen your previous... Is that enough thing. foam now, do you I think? I think that's plenty of foam now. Okay. I think we can just pop that to one side. Okay. Um, so, now I've, so now I've given you a, a selection of fruits and a, and a tea cake thing. Some chocolatey goodness. Um, so I went on your plate you to arrange your fruit and your, your chocolatey goodness. As if you're going to present it. Are you going to... To present it to who? To, to your guests at a dinner party as a dessert. I know you don't have friends, Lee, but we'll imagine. I'm feeling quite disturbed because you look very much like my year three teacher. 
in school and um <laughs> and has that aroused you somewhat? A very hairy woman. We can be hairy, Lee. Let's not judge. Okay. So, have you arranged your fruit in a, in a lovely way? I have. Okay. Now, because the, the, the gelatin will take a little while to set, so I've made made something a little bit earlier for you. Okay. So if you have a look in your in your cupboard, you'll have a wine glass, which isn't filled with wine, surprisingly. Ooh. It is filled with a, a semeny foam. It does not have an aroma. It doesn't have an aroma, because again, we used fresh semen. Um, so now what I want you to do is I want you to gently scoop some of that lovely foam out from the glass and place it lovingly on your, your, your food. Where? Just wherever you like, just for decoration. Like they do in the fancy restaurants, when they say it's like a lime air. Mm. And then you've also got a little bit of a jelly as well at the bottom, which you can also use to decorate. Oh, I, I seem to have some on my finger. Delicious. What's this jelly stuff? It's jelly. Because what was <laughs> right. it doesn't taste of anything. That's the magical wonderfulness of semen. Oh god. Um because it did it, it, it's delicious. There you go. You see you've got a beautiful little dessert that you can impress your friends with. How does it taste? It doesn't taste of anything. It doesn't taste of anything. Do you want to try your other seemingly deliciousness? Oh, God. It tastes of anything. Are you questioning the emissions of my boys? Well, tatiwata is what was just said down my ear. <laughs> what is tatiwata, Lee? I believe tatiwata is a very northern, <laughs> a very northern description of, of semen. Okay. Um, but it's not a good one, because one doesn't want to be spurting out tatty water. <laughs> so yeah, so you've got a lovely little dessert there you can wow your friends with. And it's all natural, including the semen. <laughs> it is indeed. <laughs> yes. And if you want something delicious, remember, everybody loves Fanny. Everybody loves Fanny. That was great, delicious. Who even thought that it could be such a versatile ingredient? Yeah, I thought so too. That's almost the end of the show for now. Remember to look out for our social media at The Could TV. And if you want to catch up with previous episodes, you can always binge us on YouTube. Just look for Chewing The Could. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye.